put this short presentation together so I could share my cranial bone taping, some new tapings that I just developed with all of you. So basically what I'm doing with these tapings is I'm using kinesiology tape to tape directly over cranial sutures to try to affect the alignment of the cranial bones. So why would I want to use kinesiology tape for this? Um, it actually started a couple days ago. My horse Shay hit her head pretty hard on her Himalayan salt block that was hanging in her stall. And when she hit it, um, I noticed that it was a hard hit. She kind of backed up, dropped her head down, and rolled her eyes back, kind of looked like she might even fall over for a couple seconds there. Um, it, really, she hit it hard. So I knew immediately that she was going to have some issues going on in her cranial bones, particularly the frontal bone, which is where she hit it. So I checked her, um, doing what I taught in the cranial sacral course, where we check and we look uh, visually to see if there's an issue with alignment, if there's asymmetry present, and we can also palpate to see if there's a decrease in the craniosacral rhythm, um, and we can also feel if it feels like the bones are shifted. So she did, in fact, um, have some misalignment going on because of hitting her head, and she also had a little bit of inflammation going on. She had skinned it a little bit when she hit it. Um, so I knew that I wanted to try to get these bones back into alignment as quickly as I could. So I tried to do the cranial bone adjustments, the same ones that I teach in the cranial sacral therapy course. And while I was getting some movement, it wasn't really as good as I was hoping for. Um, there was some inflammation, as I said, that already started to set in because of the trauma. And she really jammed those bones just from the intensity that she hit them at. So I started thinking, what else can I do at this point to try to help her out and make this a little bit easier for me to maybe be able to move these bones? And that was when uh, using kinesiology tape came to mind uh, because I know about its ability to both be able to mobilize inflammation and also I was thinking about how it can decompress the underlying tissue. So I thought, hey, maybe this could be a good thing. So I went and grabbed my tape and I thought about um, where the cranial sutures are and I applied the tape directly over the frontal sutures hoping that that would allow the frontal bone to move back into its proper place due to the lifting effect that the tape would have on it. So I went ahead and I taped over it and I left the tape on for 24 hours. Uh, when I came back after 24 hours the tape was still on where I had put it. Um, I did see that there was some decrease in the inflammation of the area where she had hit her head. She was also acting a lot better. Um, she was kind of stunned when it happened and she seemed like she was pretty much back to her old self at this point. Um, and then I rechecked the alignment of those frontal and parietal bones and I, it was markedly improved so, that improved. so that was good. There was some good improvement there. And then I was able to, at that time, perform the cranial bone adjustments um, with the tape still applied. I left it on and I found that it was much easier to mobilize those bones at that time. So that got me thinking about other horses that I've worked on and horses that I know my students have used for their craniosacral um, case studies and stuff. And a lot of these horses um, could have really chronic misalignments of their cranial bones, which a lot of my students would notice that they would go to adjust them and it would sometimes revert back to where it was or you're just not getting as much movement out of those bones as you'd like to get. Uh, this could be because they had a really traumatic injury, kind of like what Shay did, where it really jams them in there. Um, or also it could just be something from birth when they were um, being born. It could have been something that happened a long time ago and it's just kind of settled into that area. So it's a little more reluctant to move. But I felt like this would be a really good way to try to get some quicker improvement with those horses if we incorporated the taping with the cranial adjustments. So I came up with some taping protocols to address, to address uh, most of the issues that we see. And for these, the tape should be applied directly over the cranial sutures. And we want to leave it on for at least 24 hours, but we can leave it on for up to five days at a time. Uh, cranial adjustments can be made while the tape is still on. And the cranial adjustments um, that I'm talking about are ones that I teach in my equine cranial sacral therapy course. Now I am sharing this info with those who have taken my equine kinesiology taping course. So if, if you have not taken the cranial sacral therapy course yet, I do highly recommend it. It's a fantastic technique and the cranial adjustments that we teach in there along with the other cranial sacral therapy techniques is really a beneficial thing to know. 
Um, for those of you in my craniosacral therapy class that I'm showing this info to who have not taken the equine kinesiology taping class yet, I do highly recommend taking that class as well. Um, in that class, we teach proper handling, proper cutting, pro proper um, way to apply the tape, which would be very beneficial beneficial for you to know as far as um, being able to apply these cranial tapings. This picture shows where the cranial sutures are located. The yellow highlighted areas are showing the parietal and frontal sutures. The green highlight, highlighted area is going um, directly over that lacrimal suture. And the blue highlighted area is over the nasal sutures. The first taping that we're going to cover is a parietal frontal taping. And to start with, we're going to begin by cutting a strip of 2-inch tape into a Y. We're going to lay the base down over the top portion of the frontal bone and lay the fingers of the Y along the parietal sutures. We are then going to place a 1 or 2-inch eye strip, um, depending on the size of the horse's head or what you're trying to, you know, how much you want to affect that area. You could go with one or two inches. I went with one inch on Shea, so I just took a piece of two inch tape and cut it up the middle to make it one inch. And we're going to take an eye strip of that and we're going to put it down the horse's forehead, basically, right down where the frontal suture lays. Last part of this particular taping, um, we're going to take a one or two inch eye strip. In the picture, I'm using a one inch. And we're going to place that perpendicular to the eye strip that we just laid down. And this piece should be covering the frontal nasal sutures. The second taping that we're going to cover is the lacrimal taping. Um, for this one, we're going to, I usually just use a piece of one inch eye strip tape. Two inch could be a little bit too much in this area. The lacrimal bone is pretty small, so the one inch tape can usually um, go directly over that bone pretty easily. We're going to start right below the horse's eye and we're going to run the tape right over that lacrimal bone. This taping can be done bilaterally or unilaterally, whatever um, the horse needs. If it just needs one side, you can tape the one, and if they're having issues on both lacrimal bones, you can tape them both. The last cranial taping is our nasal taping. For this one, we're going to cut a two-inch piece of tape into a fan, but this fan is only going to have three finger project projections. Um, so we're going to place the base at the inferior portion of the nasal bone, which should be about two inches lower than what it shows in this picture. So we want to have it more down towards the nose. And then we're going to place one of those finger projections going directly up the center of the horse's head. So it'll be going up the center of that nasal suture. And then we're going to have the other fingers going, running laterally to it over the, um, the edge of the nasal sutures on the lateral side. So in conclusion, uh, these cranial bone tapings can really come in handy when working with a horse that shows signs and symptoms of cranial bone misalignments and is not responding optimally to cranial bone adjustments. Um, this could just be a horse that, like I said before, they had some chronic issues that it's just taken a little bit longer than you hoped it would through the cranial adjustments to get them back to where they should be. The taping can really help speed that up and it can help um, help you when you're performing the adjustment as well. So the cranial bone tapings do work well when done alone, but they work even better when performed in conjunction with the cranial bone adjustments. And as I said earlier, if you have not yet taken our cranial sacral therapy course, I do highly recommend that because that's where you're going to learn those cranial adjustments. You also learn um, what symptoms are common when cranial bones become misaligned and what to look for. And if you have not yet taken the equine kinesiology taping course, that's where you'll learn the proper way to cut and handle the tape, how to apply it, how to remove it, um, and all of the contraindication, contraindications and things that go along with taping as well. So two very, very good courses. Um, I was really excited to be able to combine both of these techniques to help Shay out when she hit her head. And I really liked the results that I got and I am happy to continue using these on other horses. So if anybody has any questions about these tapings, just let me know. Thanks.